Hello everyone, this is JavaScript beginner tutorial series number 29 and in this series you are going to learn this JavaScript include methods the in array method this is include function so how it's work we are going to explain that everything about there so let's start this video okay before going to do the practical about it so let's try to understand that array include function how it's work and this is basic introduction about there so this is possible I take an, a variable which is a and in this variable we create an array element and inside of array element we have take a for value this is name of the word this is you can say string value about there so now I'm gonna take it here this for example we're gonna take this number so we're going to finding so array base is include basically to finding an element in this array so for example we're going to finding this name which is rubaya we're going to find it over there now this is have a special method in includes so there is you have to write that first of all include then you have to search item so you have to search that item when this value is existed one there then it will be displayed that as a true or false value so like it will be explained that as a boolean method will be this this true or false if this name is existed here you can see it was existed so it will be true or if not existed then it will be show that the false so for that we are going to do that practically in our coding studio so let's back to there here you can save open my visual code studio and there you can see I've added a basic html file and we're going to watch in this live period on the browser on there now we need to create a file in our js folder and the file name is includes includes.js and save this file now just hide this left side of window here now include file this is include.js file we need to include that into our index file now save it we have connected successfully now we are going to using here another thing first of all i'm going to take a title of the example over there so for that i'm going to simply taking here the document dot write so document dot write and inside of this i'm going to writing a string and using that is to tag because we have already handled the is to tag in our index.html file as a css for example i'm going to show you there you can see that this we have already handled the css for the is to tag so for that we can simply write here this inside of this is to tag whatever we write it will be look like this so here i'm going to make it that includes example and close that is to tag now save it now you can see that it was successfully visible on there now you just need to i'm just going to add a break over there also so that it can be we don't need any plus icon over there we can simply add the break Okay, we have added the break over here so you have the spaces here now this we have successfully done now we're going to do that first of all i'm going to creating a variable and which is a and inside of this i'm going to creating a array element and for that i'm going to writing some name over there name type of a string over there so another one and then another one now the last one i'm gonna creating a four element one there so this we have created now i need to print this one so i'm using simply or well, i can write it here easily document dot write and inside of it i'm gonna painting a and plus i'm gonna add a break so adding two break and save it so now you can see that array element was successfully printed and it was displayed that whatever we have on there so now we're going to do that practical over there for the includes how it works so include basically work for the search item so for that i'm gonna creating another variable which is p and we'll get this all of this array element for this a1 we're going to storing this inside of this b variable so first of all the writing method which is a which is our previous variable and then we need to write here the includes method and then take a function of the parenthesis then we can find here whatever we want so for example i'm going to take in that name is rubaya which we have so i take it now we need to print this one also there so i can copy this line take a copy and paste it here now since the variable name which is a instead of a we need to provide here the b now save it now you can see it was displaying as a true value so it means this rubaya this name was find in our array element inside of it 
it was match the index over there and this is match this value of there so you can provide here any type of value you can provide here this like alphanumeric like alphabetical or the small caps or you can provide other yeah, numeric word also there so whatever you want you can find it using the search include method so you can find there so it is true for example there i'm gonna providing here some different name which is not here so i'm gonna providing here the seed and save it so that you can see it was displayed as a false so because this value is not mass in our array element so for now i'm gonna providing here a different type of example I'm gonna take in Ruby again. It was already here, so it will be true. Now I'm gonna make it as a. It was a okay, alphabetically, so I need to make it a small cap R, so smaller. Now you can see it was false. It was have this. The name is have there, but it was showing the false. Reason that this the include function is work for the case sensitive. If your case here this your number or a small caps, so you have to write the same way that which is we have there then it will be work as a true or if it not match then it will be as a display as a false but this is a true false value we can't actually we can't control about it because this is default value but that we can using as a this the conditional statement using here so i'm gonna removing this okay this document dot right and this variable also and for that i'm gonna creating as a if function and then on there the last over here a function and opening curly braces so we're going to do that matching our condition will be there if the name is match then it will be print something so for example so i'm gonna take this one as a copy this document dot right and we need to remove this all and take a string box okay first of all remove it now i'm gonna say that this this was mass this we can see that this case okay this case is valid okay now we need to do that just copy this one again and after this if this condition is not matched then it will be print that else section so for this else we are going to create in here and painting this one so i am just need to provide here this invalid it means it was not matches there now save this file and there we can see it was showing that the case is invalid because we have this name this is which is not matched on that there is a small cap i'm gonna write in here a capital r when it will be matched there now save it you can see that it was displayed the case is valid so we can see that for example we are going to do that any more stylish over here so for that we can write here this is to so that it can be visible goodly so this one and there also and the last one there also okay here is in less than okay now save it so now we can see this was case sensitive it was as a heading tag right out there now we can see that whatever we do for example i'm gonna taking another value which is an if and save it this also a case since it, this was showing that the case is in sorry it is valid now we're gonna providing here number sum one two three and there it will say that this case is invalid because this one two three is not matching there so for that we can provide here if we're going to try for this some using number on there so i'm gonna write in here this one two three and then the number name of there now copy it and provide it here this is a one two three and paste it now save it the case is valid so you can see this doesn't matter you are providing here this your array element is alpha numeric or alphabetic or numeric or small caps just you have to match the same cases then it will be as a true function or if the cases is not matched then it will be automatically print this one and which is not matched this is not invalid this is not valid will be display over there so you can do the case sensitive also there there you have to write the same format whatever you write so this is case sensitive also over there so i hope you understand this the javascript array method which is include functions and if you have any question about it you can give me on the comment section below and if you enjoyed this tutorial please like on it and share it with your friends and please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you'll never miss any updated from us